good day viewers welcome to another tutorial on my java and in this tutorial i would um, be going to the next step in the previous tutorial i told you how to add a current page to a database and in this tutorial i will be showing you the code on all on how i will insert my information to the database so let me go straight to the point so this is just the preview of the of the page so you come down here this is my save button you click on it event action performed you click on it I've already written the code down to save our time so I'll just analyze it so this is the SQL format to insert into the database insert into this is my table that's new staff so this the staff ID is the name I would actually give my database I've not created the, the database yet but my next tutorial I'll show you that so this will be the name of this will be the name of the table this that's the staff ID so all the I, all the items in the database, the staff ID, the son name, that's the middle name. That is how it would be in the database table. So I'll make sure it is the same, so there won't be a mistake. So address, so first, uh, first name, address, blah blah blah. So all these are, I think it is. Let me count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It is fifteen. So the question mark two should be fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it remains one. Be conscious of that. That's fifteen. So here will be one. The second one will be two. So this S N is the text field name for my son name. That's it. When you right click and check the variable name, you see it. S N. So the green. The colored green uh, letters A are my variable name for each field. So this one is the ID is to save in the ID. That's why it's one. This one is the second one. That the son name it is two. So this one will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 14 and then 15 15 holds the gender and then you use the PSC empty that's my paper statement variable name execute so after the data has been saved it's gonna pop up it a J option pin box a dialog box will come up with data saved so this is the catch exception so there's this is how I saved my um, my J my J calendar so this is the J calendar this is it this is how it works when you click on the J calendar it's like this so that's how the J calendar works so the way you accept the J calendar is different from all other field so this is how I set my J calendar this is how I accept to get an item to get the selected item from my combo box This is the combo box so when you click on it you have options here so that's how i, that's how I accept the combo box okay i haven't decided this anyways so and for the gender that's the male and female this is a radio button so the first thing you need to do is to go to your source code you come to the i've explained this in my previous tutorial so you can just go and check that so you write it private string gender at the lower part of your source code then you come here you come back to your design you click on it event action performed then you write gender equals male that's for the first one then here you come to event action performed you click on it i've already written this down so don't think it would be it would be in your program 
you have to write it so it's gender equals to female so that's how I did this so everything is in my save button so in my next tutorial I'll create the database and I'll show you how it has been saved into the database um, thank you